What's up guys, my name is Uncaged Games. Welcome back to another Injustice 2 video. Today, we're going to be starting the month-long of Injustice videos. So if you guys are excited for this month-long journey of uh, getting a Injustice-related video every single day, be sure to give this video a thumbs up because this is the first video out of a lot of Injustice videos that I'm going to be uploading. So give me strength by showing me that you guys are excited by giving this video a thumbs up. But today's video, to start off this uh, month-long of Injustice goodies, we're going to do the the video that I promised you guys back in like what it was like two weeks ago where I said if you guys got that last video I think 3,000 likes I would do my nine characters that I think will be DLC for Injustice 2 you guys actually destroyed that video you guys got that video like what 9,000 plus likes so thank you guys sorry that I made you guys wait for this video so long but my reasoning behind it was I am picking nine characters that I think will be DLC for Injustice 2. Now it's hard to pick DLC characters because we don't know the actual main roster yet. We don't know the full roster so I can't just randomly pick characters. I gotta think about this because the characters I pick could show up in the main roster. So my reasoning behind these picks are they're good characters, they're characters that people want but they don't really fit in the main roster. But I just want to say that these are just my characters that I think that are going to be DLC. They're not confirmed or any way. I just want to make a list, give my thoughts on what characters could possibly show up as DLC. For all I know, one of these characters I named for DLC could show up as a main roster character, which in that case, that would be awesome. But let's get into the nine characters that I think will be DLC for Injustice 2. I'm gonna first start off with all the characters that I am positive, like almost 99% sure they are gonna show up in Injustice 2 as DLC. First character is Spawn. I think Spawn out of every character right now that I can think of has the highest chance of being in Injustice 2. He was rumored to be a DLC character for Mortal Kombat X and he never showed up. So this is the time for him to show up in the game. Ed Boon has teased and made voting polls on Spawn being in Injustice 2, so he has the highest chance out of every character, and if he doesn't show up in Injustice 2, that would surprise me, but I'm almost guaranteeing that Spawn will show up in Injustice 2. It's about time, I feel like he would fit perfectly in the Injustice universe. So Spawn being in Injustice 2, I'm gonna say 99% sure. This next character, I'm gonna say like 95% sure, and that is Sub-Zero. In interviews, Ed Boon has said that Scorpion was the most downloaded character in Injustice 1, so it would be strange if they didn't do another guest character of some sort for Injustice 2. And they made voting polls, and Sub-Zero surprisingly won the voting polls, so Having Sub-Zero show up in Injustice 2 would not be the biggest surprise ever, seeing that we got Scorpion in the first one, it would just make sense that we get the second coolest ninja out there, no pun intended, being in the second game. Number 3 is a character that I feel have a pretty good chance, not as high as Spawn and Sub-Zero, but he does have a fighting chance of being in Injustice 2, and that is Rorschach from Watchmen. If you guys don't know, Watchmen is technically owned by DC, but apparently they're in like a different universe or something like that. It's confusing, I can barely understand what's going on here, but Rorschach showing up in Injustice 2 would not be crazy. It would make sense. Also, I believe it's the new Justice League Rebirth comics have Dr. Manhattan or the Watchmen teased in that comic series. So, Watchmen showing up in a DC fighting game would not be crazy and I would love to see Rorschach. Don't quote me on this, but I believe Ed Boon might have teased Rorschach a couple of times. Not as much as Spawn in Sub-Zero, but he has teased Rorschach I believe once or twice and I think he would just be a perfect fit in the game. You can change his trench coat, his hat, his grappling hook, maybe his mask too, you know, that would be cool. But I think Rorschach has a good chance. Again, not as high as Spawn in Sub-Zero, but these are just the nine characters that I think are going to be DLC. So I think Rorschach is going to be a DLC for Injustice 2. The next character is a character that I didn't really think was going to be DLC after Spawn won the voting poll. But apparently Ed Boon's teasing that we might get both Spawn and Hellboy, which if we get Hellboy, yo, that would be amazing. If Spawn wasn't on the voting poll, I would have picked Hellboy hands down because he would be so awesome to play as. You can customize his giant hand, maybe make it like a different, uh, I don't know, give it spikes or something like that. You can customize his horns or like he has one horn or no horns. I think that would be so cool. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about it. And also the shades, you can change up his color. Maybe make him like, I don't know, blue, yellow. Give him like a different like shade of red. Oh, the customization would be awesome. And I would love to hear 
his intro dialogues with the other characters. I said this before, I like the Mortal Kombat X guest characters, but they didn't really have dialogue. None of them did. So if we get guest characters in this game, like Sub-Zero, Spawn, Rorschach, Hellboy, those four characters, they actually talk. So I'm excited to hear some dialogue between these characters so I can get a feel of what they're feeling. So I'm all for Hellboy showing up in Injustice 2. Now that I got those four characters out of the way, those were the easy characters to put on this list of characters that I think will be DLC. These next five characters took me a little bit more time to think about because these are actual DC characters and I had to use my mind and think of what characters are cool but won't show up in the main roster or don't have a good chance of showing up in the main roster. Again, these are not confirmed. They could show up in the main roster, but if they don't, I can see them being DLC. So the first DC DLC character on my list is actually one of my top five characters I want in the main roster, and that is Plastic Man. Now, Plastic Man, I think, would be amazing to play as in Injustice 2. I think his dialogue would be awesome to hear when he talks to, like, Batman and Superman, how he makes the jokes. But I think he would be such a cool character. You can customize his outfit. Also, his goggles would be a cool thing to customize. I think he's a unique character, and I can see him being in the game. But I don't think he's as well-known as other characters, so I don't see him showing up in the main roster. He did show up in the Injustice comics, and he's still alive. So that's why he has a good chance of showing up as much as I would love to have him in the main roster I can see him more being a DLC and if he is DLC I am fine with that I will be sure to get him as a character this next DC DLC character that I think will be in Injustice 2 is Batwoman just like Plastic Man she was in the Injustice comics but spoilers she died in the Injustice comics like at the very last issue of the Injustice 1 comics she died so if they're doing the whole comics into the video game universe tie-in then technically she won't show up in the main story but she can be DLC so that's why I put her on my list and also I think she's pretty cool she could play a lot like Batgirl and I don't think Batgirl is gonna come back she might but I don't feel like she will or if anything Batgirl will be in the main roster and maybe her premier gear skin will change her into Batwoman so that would be cool but if we don't get Batgirl in the main roster I feel like Batwoman would be a good character to be DLC and if she was I'll be sure to download her that sounded wrong but I'll be sure to download her all day on now you know what I'm saying this next DC character for my DLC list would be a character that I feel a lot of you guys would want in the main roster and I would also want in the main roster but I don't see it happening just because we already got Robin and I'm pretty sure we're going to get Red Hood. So this Robin or former Robin should be DLC and that is Nightwing. But I feel like this time around Nightwing should be the Dead Man Nightwing or have a gear piece that makes him into Dead Man Nightwing. If you guys don't know, Nightwing died in the comics and he came back as Dead Man. And I think that would be a cool concept. That would change up his gameplay a lot if Netherrealm wants to do that. That would be very unique. But if they don't, they can just bring him back as Nightwing and have his moves very similar to the first Injustice Nightwing. I just want to see Nightwing come back, but the roster is looking pretty stacked with the Bat family. So I don't think Nightwing will make it back in the main roster, but I can see him being DLC. The next DC character that I feel like will be DLC is actually not really a solid choice. It's more of like a group of characters. And that is a lantern. Like, I feel we are going to get one DLC lantern. Now, I don't know which lantern. It could be yellow, orange, black lantern. If we don't get another lantern in the main roster, which I don't think we will just because we already got green lantern and red lantern atrocitus. So, I don't think we're going to get another one in the main roster. But, there is a good chance that another lantern could show up as DLC, which if that happens... I would be cool with Sinestro coming back. We could have Kilowog. I think that would be a cool character to have. But again, we already have a Green Lantern in the main roster. And we already got Atrocitus. He's a tank lantern. So I don't think we should have another tank lantern, if that makes any sense. Guy Gardner would be awesome. Star Sapphire would be pretty cool. Again, there's so many good lanterns out there. But it all depends on, you know, what they want to do. If any of those lanterns I named will be in the main game. But I feel... A lantern being DLC is a pretty good prediction. And finally, the last character that I think will be DLC for Injustice 2 
That character is Adam. I feel Adam has a good chance of showing up as DLC in Injustice 2. Seeing as he was in the background stage of Injustice 1, he was just working on the computers, and he is on the DC Legends of Tomorrow TV show, and his popularity has been going up, so I could see him being in as DLC. I don't think we will get him to shrink in gameplay wise, but his super can make him shrink. That would be a cool way to do it, but having Adam in the game would be pretty awesome, especially if you had the DC Legend of Tomorrow Adam, because he has a whole like mech suit, and that would be awesome to customize in the gear customization. But those are the nine characters that I think will be a DLC in Injustice 2. I feel like I gave some pretty good reasoning behind the characters I picked. The first four characters, the guest characters, they have a very high chance of being in the game. Half of them will be in as DLC. The DC characters I named off, those were very difficult to pick, seeing as we don't know the full roster, so I don't know if any of the characters on my list will actually be in the main roster. So that's why I was hesitant to make this characters I think would be DLC for Injustice 2 just because I don't have the full roster. Now if we had the full roster, I would have made this video way sooner, but again, I just had to think about these characters a lot longer, but it's alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. If you guys did, give the video a thumbs up for this first Injustice video for the month long of Injustice. I hope you guys are excited. I am. And you know what? Let's set a high standard right now. If we get this video, let's say, what, like 4,000 likes, I will go and make another video somewhere in this month. I don't know when yet, but I'll make a video telling the nine characters that I want as DLC. This is the characters that I think will be DLC. I have another list of characters that I want as DLC. So if you guys want to see that video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if this video gets 4,000 likes, I'll be sure to make that video sometime in this month of Injustice. But comment down below and let me know what do you guys think about my list of characters for DLC for Injustice 2. Is there a character that you guys would switch out? Or if you guys want, leave me your 9 characters that you guys think will be DLC for Injustice 2. But like the video if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. My name's on Cage Games and you just got caged. Uh, meter burn. Crap. Meter burn. You son of a gun. Oh. <laughs> Let's go.